मम वेद्य संपीत अवंतरण And who has heard with part times of Krishna from his own guru or Sikhaguru? Then he is Sadhu. There is Sakti Krishna, Sachidana. So, followers of Krishna are Sadhu. So, in initiation, association of Sadhu, always Hari Tatha. Broad land, rivers from where months are over, from glaciers coming, so many kinds of fear and fear, by the speed, part and surface. So, if anyone hears, Sthani Sita, Fat Adi, Brahmachari, Sanyas, Krihastha, Pantra, he may be Brahman, Chhatri, the Vaishya, Shruti, anybody. He should be there, but he should hear. He should do pranam to O Katha Thal, place of where the Hari Katha is going on. Or thinking more than by Puntha. More than by putting him and do pranam to who is speaking, Harikatha, on the stating of the Vyas Asham, like Sukhadeva Goswami. And, hmm? and to organizers, we should do pranam, who are here organizers. Who are किसका नाम दिया और ये विष्णु और कृष्ण और सोमे प्यार और मैं नहीं कर एंड वो इस हरि कथा को ही and all the audience we should do pranam. And then you will see in no time Shabdha, first Shabdha becomes. And then Shadhan Bhakti like that. Then how to? Then Prima Bhakti. Especially, it has been told in Bhagavad Those who will hear Hari Katha, speak part times of Krishna and Radhika. How many detached persons? Rashi Vaishnava, Hindi Laila, Sukhdeva Goswami, Rupa Goswami. Then, Satsakshana, Srimad Bhagavati Mahamuni today, Kimba Parayishvara Shakya Avadhati Atra Kajiri Susvati Sakha In no time, if anyone will be here, what will be? Krishna will come in your heart by that purpose. And if something is wrong here, they will watch all these aparat, anatta and so on. And Krishna will be prisoner there. Prisoner? Krishna. Forever. And you should try not to open the door. This should be always. 
सो फर्स्ट मंगला चरण फर्स्ट वी हैव डन इन कीर्तन जय जय देव है कुर कुशलम वी आर प्रण शरणागत नौ जन्म आदर्श जगत अन्वया अर्थो विज्ञ स्वराणी ब्रह्म रिदाय आदि कवे मोयंत जब सूर्य तेजो बाग विदाम जतो जथा विनम जत श्री सर्गो अमृषा धामना स्वेन सदा निरस्त कोपम सत्यम पर सत्यम परम कोई सत्य कृष्ण सत्य परम ही परम ही इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड हे जे अवतारी पुरुष ही इज वेर इज अगो गुरो वृंदावन वेर देर इज नो माय Nothing from whom or what have millions of what even transcendental guru Binda Ban and Jeev Jagat and Jad Jagat all are and he knows everything. We give even the rarest stone. So he is a big guy. Swara. This force, no one can can control, and no one can ask this this question: Why you have done this? Not so. First, we should do pranam to Bhagavat, and then Prabhu with Radhika. Also. This is look at so many meanings. It can be applied to Radhika. Also, it can be uh, for for Radha and Krishna both. Also, project and Namaha. And the explanation when we will do today is so late. It is about. Or, I think it would be better that daily we should begin at five. At least then we can do. Otherwise, in four days now, what time we speak? And I want that something should be. So better four thirty we should begin our kirtan, and at five. I must come and begin some drama play. Also, please be here. So now I'm coming to my subject. That once now went to was he was sad. Cooperate, and in the last, they can tell me. He saw that after Krishna departed from the world, after that, tell me, who went to Himalaya, who went to Haridwar, went to Kashi, Varanasi. Went to South Indian, all six places, holy places. In the last, he came to India. He saw all other places, all are very unhappy, suffering so much. Kalyan has come, and by this the influence, everybody is saying that he. Now, ladies and men both have lost their character. 
تبریز این تیر تا بہن تین کچھ ڈاؤ دی ادھوکھیا مطورا کارٹی اندر سے ہے فارمیڈن اینی ہری کا تھا آگے رینٹ کے لئے اگر سے ملتی کچھ ڈاؤ دی جیل آرڈ جیل آرڈ Anyone cannot do any ridiculous thing. Especially now in age, he was not the thing. That now in age, everywhere I saw. All that I know. In Tiktha, nothing is there. No hurry to pass. And he saw that in this no religious mode is there. Brahmins, they read Bhagavad, but they take money. Like they are saving Bhagavad. No pure Harikatha, no Bhagavad is done, any value. So everywhere, all there, so much. When he came to Vrindavan, he saw that there was a very beautiful lady, very beautiful, young, but she was pretty. And crying with her feet. He saw that two men, old, and they were in pain, unconscious. And then that lady came to him. Oh, I saw you. Now I am so happy. What happened? You must be any saintly person. Then I told why you are moving. Oh, I am moving that my birthplace is in south. Where? And if Madhva Chaj, Ramanu, Vishnu Swami and all there. South. And there I had two sons, Gyan and Bhairati. They are in school. From then I went to Karnataka nearby, between Bombay and Kanyakumari side, Trevenda. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I was happy with my son. But when I came to Gujarat, very rich person, wealthy country, that yeah. myself and I too, my son, became old. Then I became very worried. And they became also unconscious. Anyhow, I reached to Vrindavan. Here I became young. But my two sons are unconscious and very old. They are all very Why this became? I don't know. Can you make any remedy for me? Then not only this. They can do. See? But he could not disturb anything. He meditated. Then he heard it. Boy. <clears throat> you can know all these things from any saintly person. 
to source search and know. But who is that? Then he was searching here and there. Searching and searching. Who went to? Hajbar and Papa. Oh, here he saw. One day, oh, his elder brother, Sanak Sanandan, Sanatan Sanatma. They are like five years old boy, quite naked. But, but their age, maybe also Brahma. Always like that. And they are first Manasputra of Brahma. Manasputra man? Not by Narati Jauto. No, he is like from fire, short for sweet thing. Then, oh, he did pranam to his elder brothers. And they told, oh, why you are so worried? Nara? <coughs> what is the reason? I know that always bhakti is in your heart. Always you uh, sing the songs of Krishna part and everywhere. You can go to Guru Vrindavan, Paikuntha, to earth, to other places. But why is he going? Then he told. Whole world, I told. I was very worried to see them. All are heavy and happy and feeling suffer. <coughs> when I came to Vrindavan, I met Bhakti and he too suffered. Can she has become young. But two sons are still old and they are like sensitive. What to do? Then he told, Oh, Bhakti is free of Krishna. What? What is Any Shakti, power of she always lived in the heart of Sadhu. She and two sons are Gyan and Bharat, always with her. Where there is Bhakti, there will be all kinds of knowledge. Krishna Tattva, Maya Tattva, Jnana Tattva, Rasa Tattva, Tattva, And by that detachment will be shown. But there will be bhakti, what will be? The two. Detachment from world. And he will know all the truths. So, I know you know some everything, O Nara. And you can do everything, but as a what unknowing, you are fasting. Oh, one thing you do, Bhakti will be happy, and the there such will be also happy. Will be happy. Here, my father Brahma gave me Bhagavatam in four slopes. And he received from Narayan. That is called Chatu. He has given. And now it has been expanded by Ya. And he has taught to his son Shukadeva After Kalyu past thirty years, snake was going to bite Parikshit Maharaj 
after seven days. And then Sukhadeva Goswami told Bhagavatam, this was after only 30 years of Kaliyu, that is, the day Krishna disappeared from this world, 30 years. And then after 200 years after that, oh, Gokarna told to Dhundakari and he went to bed. And now, after also 20 to 30 years, 30 years now, here I will tell Haritatha, say past that is, that day, which was told by Sukadeva Goswami. So, you should tell everyone to come here. And then, some invitation was given. I don't remember who gave. Old Rishi. So Lord Rishi, even that event, Sukadeva Goswami event, Gautam and Vasishta, oh, now Yogendra, all the reasons from whole world. And there began to for seven. It told that better to daily do Bhagavata. Daily. Hearing from any high class of Vaishnava. And if that can be not done, then in one year it should be completed. And if you cannot do, then at least one month, then it can be told in some distance. But Kaljubi persons, they cannot give so much time. They have no time at all. They don't understand. So even seven days, <laughs> anyone will hear this part time from any high class of Vaishnava. They will be liberated and Krishna will come in their heart and then Sarup Siddhi in the last Vastu Siddhi. But when you began to hear of same moment, Takkhana, Krishna will come in your heart. And then he began to now there is happy and that first day bhakti oh, began very happy began. And Jan and Dharaki also they can fall in compassion. And thus all became very happy. And in the last those who heard all went to follow by So we should hear the sweet part and of Krishna. Uh, Parikshit Maharaj has asked two questions. To whom? To Sukhdev. And to all rishis also. The, all the rishis who are present there Sukhda Sami told, but who was here? Nar was there. Yes, Dev was also there. Parasa, the father of that day. And so many rishis and masters. But why Sukhda Goswami was told to recite? Because his eyes were so sweet like that. And also he was trained by his father. Also, like he was Brahman Gyani, detached totally from world, naked, 
in the days eight of sixteen. Oh, very tall feet and very beautiful body. Hands so much long. Eyes very beautiful, like you know, like Krishna's was beautiful. When he was coming, children were clapping and like mad person. Some were giving and lady was how beautiful, but like mad person. And when he reached and went, not at all stood up and welcomed him and gave the oh, best order. For what? One, two questions. Those persons are who is going to die at once? At once, without reading. What we should do for him? Or what he should do? And others who will die? When they will die, they don't. But they will die. For whom? What they do? Mainly two questions. And then he asked so many questions. So, what should be done? When a person is going to die at once, what he should show? But not so easy. Krishna, Tadiya Pad Pankaja Pandya Rante, Atvaiva Vishatume Manasa Raja Mantta, Pran Prayan Samaye Kapapitta Pad, Kantha Varodhan Vidhaus Maranam Sutta. It is very hard to tell Krishna Ram at the time of day. What will be? Your cunt will be good, good, I say. You cannot remember. You should tell Hare Katha, Krishna name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. If not, oh, Krishna, Radhe, Ram, and those who are. Long time they should hear that Srimad Mahasaya.
and she can mad like Devhuti Mahaprabhu. And what became? Animal never stays short. Perhaps she became mad in Krishna. And Krishna gave it to oh, her both and Sintana. But Nanda Baba called a meeting, concert of Gopananda and all others. And they were thinking, here in Gopur, so many sufferings are coming, problems are coming, so many demons are coming. And also the crushing of that field for now. And so decided to go to Vrindavan. And thus all the cows, cops, all the goats, gopi and all they crossed the Yamuna and went to Vrindavan. When Shakti Karai came there, they they really need Sapati Kara, Sapati Mantra Kara. All the cards were in round, half round ways. And so many forms outside that, that any should, should have come there. And the Shakti Kara round was there. And from there, Krishna three years, four years, five years. And he, when he began to graze cough, he, he was eagerly <coughs> praying to, requesting to his father. The father <coughs> made arrangements and Yasoda father decorated him. Krishna and Bhante. All Sakha, thousands and millions of Sakha, where they are cough, Grand Krishna. So Yasoda Mahara, out of love, she did not want it that he should go to Kaukhari. But yet Krishna was so determined that he went. One day, <coughs> one day he was going and saw that on the bank of Jamna, very big. Pran. And he Like Pakash. He was touching a sky and very big. They thought that any mountain is there. But he was sent by Kan to kill him. So, when Krishna went there nearby, at once, by his feet, he picked up in his mouth and saw them. But Krishna began like a fiery ball. At once he threw it out from his mouth and again wanted to bite. But Krishna, oh, he took it to and what is it? Like Hindi, Mothati, Tibhati, Usachi Kata Dokhan 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 So I cannot express my all these things in English language, but in Hindi and Sanskrit. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> in all languages, English language or Russian or Chinese, Portuguese or Spanish language, French language, all are made. <laughs> that, that no <laughs> word, phrase, snake, ma, prane, ra, only word love. What is love? <laughs> that means that love or lust is love, but really lust is not love. Oh, my son said, Oh, Jack of that. Jack of that. 
So, English and all languages cannot express the meaning of Sanskrit or Bhagavad Gita. There is no meaning of Brahma. Any word? Paramatma? Anyhow. Thus, Bhagavad was killed. And what Krishna did? He had been Sarupi Mukti. Why? He had not done, done anything. He should have sar, Sarupi Mukti. But why Sarupi? Because by radiation of the heart, Uttana, because he made Madhavi form and told Lalla Lalla for this. When he was going, and he saw, he started. Thousands of devotees, one was there with him, and God. And what? Who is there? Among you? Homeopathy? Do you know? He is not here. Ah, no way. Ah, no. Boom. You know the story of Agarpu? Honestly, you should try. So, 
when, when this particular event happened, he felt the heat and the fire from Krishna, and he, the spirit soul left. He was killed by Krishna, shot out from the top of his head. So, in this way, <laughs> the light, flashing light came on his head, on his head and mixed into, immersed into uh, Krishna's feet. Then, then all of Krishna's coward boyfriends came out of the mouth of Adasura and they were saved by Krishna. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, this one place where they took us to Rajmandala where they had this slide where um, Yes, where the Abhisattva Sora demon was killed. Uh, I don't remember so much the whole thing. Thank you. What again? You? What again? After that? That light again? And she was begging, right? <coughs> Krishna short towards covered by the cough. Okay. At once Ambas came from his eyes and all now where uh, came in life and they came out of mouth of Sadhasu and then life what what was it? Waiting in his coin, he came and makes him Krishna Lord <laughs> Sarupa Mukti he also. He is very jealous that Sai Mukti. But Bhakapur and Yakatu, being the relative of Bhakti. Bhakti means they are liberated as Sarupa Mukti. <coughs> but there was a very strong uh, strange thing that what happened in one year, next year they were telling all these stories to others. Uh, Brahma, this guy he was hiding and he saw these two, three past times of Then. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Shabhakara Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guru Nenama So as Shuna Gurudev said, in the sky, the demigods, they were all watching this amazing uh, event of Krishna killing uh, Akhasur. And amongst them, the chief of the demigods, Lord Brahma, he was also watching. And uh, he was becoming very much amazed and very much amused by the power of Krishna. So there came a desire with him to actually test Krishna. And what he decided to do one day, uh, when the cowherd boys came with Krishna through the forest, every day the young cowherd boys, this was when Krishna had only the calves, not the grown up cows, and the cowherd boys were very little like him when he first began his cowherding pastimes. So Krishna would go into the forest every day with the cowherd boys, and also, they would play so many games in the forest as they were going. Oh, some of them would act like they were peacocks. Some of them would play like they were bulls with horns and they would put cloths over themselves. Some of them would cry out the sounds of the birds flying in the sky back and forth and they would chase their shadows on the ground. And many, many other games, hide and seek and like this. And so, when it came time, uh, and for them to have their uh, lunch break, 
Uh, at the same time, the, the convert boys, they were carrying with them from their houses. Each of their mothers had made so many very nice preparations for their lunch. So many nice fruits and sweets and lundus and so many nice preparations. And um, they would sit down with Krishna in a huge uh, semi-circle. Krishna would sit in the middle and he would be facing to all of his cowherd friends who would first one circle sitting around him, then another circle, another circle, almost like we're sitting in this room around Srila Gurudev. So Krishna would be looking at each one of them and they would have in front of them, they would be using leaves as plates and sometimes also they would be using stones which were shaped exactly like palis, like plates. We also go there on Raj Mandala Prakrama by the mercy of Srila Gurudev and we see this very place, Bhojan Thali, where the power boys, you can still see that the stones have the shapes of plates there, roundish plates, where they actually ate off of those. So, Shula, um, so Krishna was every day sitting with the cowherd boys like this, and this particular day, he was sitting there, and all there were hundreds and thousands and thousands of cowherd boys sitting in front of Krishna. And all the calves, they were grazing nearby to that place. There were thousands and thousands of calves. And so when Krishna began to eat, he was looking and having so many uh, gestures with his eyes to all of his cowherd friends, playing so many games and speaking to them very happily. And the amazing thing is that every single cowherd boy of all the thousands who were sitting there, even if they were quite some distance from Krishna, each one of them simultaneously felt that, oh, Krishna is looking at me. Oh, Krishna is joking with me. Oh, Krishna is having his breakfast directly with me. Why? Because Krishna is the supreme, absolute personality of Godhead. He is the absolute truth and the center of all existence. So, in this way, Krishna, just as a little cowherd boy was playing, and Lord Brahma, because he had seen this Agasura pastime, he decided to test and see, oh, well, who is this cowherd boy? What kind of potency he has? So Lord Brahma decided that he would uh, play a trick on Krishna. And what he did was, gradually, as the calves were grazing, they began to stray some distance away, and uh, he, Lord Brahma actually took, by his mystic power, he took all of those calves and he placed them some distance away from there into a cave. So now the convert boys had noticed that the calves were, had gone missing. And Krishna told the convert boys, Oh, I don't want that you will be disturbed. You, you should remain here and take your lunch. I will go. I will bring the calves back. So then Krishna, he went from that place and he began to search here and there and everywhere for the calves, but he did not find them. And then when he came back to see where the convert boys were, Oh, they were also gone. Because Lord Brahma in the meantime had come and he had also taken all the covered boys and he had transferred them to this distant place also where there was a, a cave and he kept them there by his mystic power. So, little Krishna who was sitting there, was standing there. Now, of course, Krishna has two aspects. In his Narva, in his human-like pastimes, he is Mugdata. He plays just like a, any little boy within this world, just like we heard Damodar Lila. Krishna's running away from his mother, he's crying so many tears and he's actually frightened. Uh, but that aspect of Krishna being like an ordinary child within this world is his supreme glory and, his, and this is brought about by his yoga maya potency, that he forgets himself, that he is the supreme personality of Godhead. But at the same time, Krishna is also Sarva Gyata, knowing everything, absolutely everything is known by Krishna. So at this time, Krishna through his internal potency, he also understood that, oh, this is Lord Brahma who has taken away my calves and my covered boys. But then he began to think, oh, there are, uh, this will not be possible for me to go back to my home at the end of the day, because, oh, how will Mother Yashoda feel? How will all the other covered women and covered men feel? 
But also Krishna knew so many other things. He knew that all the ladies in Vrindavan, they had a desire out of their Vatsalya praying for Krishna, that they wanted to feed Krishna uh, with their own breast milk. And he knew also that all the cows, they also have this mood that they want to give their, their own milk from their own udders directly to Krishna. And also one other very confidential point is that at this time, uh, well I'll tell that in a second, this is a different point. So at this point then Krishna, he by his mystic power, which is the topmost supreme mystic power in the whole creation. Now Krishna expanded his very own self as each and every cowherd boy and every single calf. And this was completely down to the slightest detail, identical with each one of them. He became their dress, he became their, uh, their physical features, their voices, their flutes, their covered horns, their sticks, and he became all of the calves. Every single one of them became, Krishna became exactly identical to them. And in this way, now Krishna began to proceed back from the forest at the end of the day in the form of all these covered boys and calves. So something very amazing began to happen when the calves came into view of the covered men who and the and the cows, the elderly cows, who were grazing nearby near Govardhan Hill, when the cows saw their calves coming from a distance, they became completely overwhelmed with love and affection for their calves. And they began running and running down the hill. The coward men were actually trying to pull them and to stop them from running away, but they couldn't stop them. And the cat, the cows ran, ran down the hill so quickly, and they immediately went up to their own calves and began licking their bodies affectionately with tears in their eyes and putting their necks around their calves. And then the coward men, who were a little bit upset, they were running up to the cows, but then when they saw their coward sons, their little boys, they immediately became overwhelmed with love and affection for them. And they began grabbing their, their sons, placing them on their laps, giving them very tight hugs, smelling their heads and kissing them, and showing them so much affection with tears flowing from their eyes. And in this way, oh, they became overwhelmed in, in praying. But who were they overwhelmed in praying for? Sri Krishna himself, in the form of their sons and calves. So now in this way Krishna entered in the form of these calves and covered boys into the uh, Vrindavan village. And now in the Vrindavan village their mothers came forward and also embraced them. And Krishna returned home personally and uh, all his covered friends returned. And in this way Krishna for one entire year he remained in this way, in these forms and he was constantly going into the forest of Vrindavan every day, executing his pastimes, coming back from the forest every day. And another significant point is that during this same year, uh, Dharmacharya, he told, he proclaimed that it is a very auspicious time now, this particular year is the most auspicious time astrologically that all of the young girls, all the young Gopi girls in Vrindavan, they should now be betrothed. Their marriages should be arranged with all the young convert boys and they should be betrothed in marriage to them. Because this is the system in the ancient Vedic system of India, that when the children are very young, the parents will already arrange for their marriages. They will not necessarily live together at that time, but they will understand that we are we are married like this. So this, this betrothal by the order of Dargamuni took place. And therefore, all of the young gopis in Vrindavan, they actually took Krishna as their very husbands. So although in, Vrind in Brajadam, Parakiya and the mood of Krishna is my paramour lover is the prominent feature of Raja, but in actuality by Krishna's desire he fulfilled also the desire of the gopis and they and Krishna also became their husband in this secretive way. So now like this you go on. 
So also, now Bhavadev Prabhu, he was not there on this particular day in the forest when Lord Brahma had stolen the cows and cows. And by the way, I forgot to mention, the reason why this was going on for one entire year is because Lord Brahma, uh, he has a time span of life which is millions and billions of years compared to the earthly years. And one minute or one moment practically of his uh, demigod years is equivalent to one entire year on the earth planet. So during this time, uh, so for one entire year, Krishna was uh, expanding himself in this way. So during this time, Lord Baladev, who was on that particular day, he had been kept at home because it was a, a special ceremony, his birthday, yes, Baladev Prabhu's birthday. So he was kept at home and he did not go into the forest for Kalmari as he usually does every day with Krishna. And, but he noticed also that what is this extraordinary thing that I'm observing? That all of these uh, coward boys, when their parents see them, and when the cows see their beautiful young calves, they become so overwhelmed with affection for them, just as if that, that they have the same affection for Krishna. Because in Braja, Every single resident of Braja, all the cows, all the gopis and gopas, they actually love Krishna as their very life and soul even more than they love their own sons and their cow and the calves. But Baladev Prabhu noticed that, oh, now I'm noticing that they're loving Krishna, they're, lo uh, they're loving the cows, the calves and the cowherd boys as much as they love Krishna. So I think that this must be some mystic power of my uh, younger brother Krishna. No. Mm -hmm. Any Maya tenant? Uh, mm -hmm. Any Daigo Maya tenant? So who all must be Maya And this also shows that even Bhagavad Prabhu, who is the first expansion of Krishna and is equal to Krishna in practically in all ways. But even Krishna's personal potency, when he does not want Baladev Prabhu to understand that, even Baladev Prabhu cannot understand. So therefore Krishna is the supreme personality of God had topmost amongst all expansions that of his own. So in this way, now uh, Krishna so now, Brahma, Naya Jyoti has gone. Baldev asked, oh, what are you doing? Even you are not satisfied, you may be so damn rich. Now, millions of cows like your mother you are doing. And you are also taking the risk of lakhs and lakhs of gopis. Even, 